Hello and welcome to this James the Bike Guy where today we're getting a chance to take a look at this Trek Marlin 8. Now this is the Gen 3 version which features a totally new, brand new frame and then a part spec which puts this as a top level beginner bike. So we're going to go into the features and designs of this bike, talk about what I mean by a top level beginner bike, and then of course we'll find out exactly what it weighs. So if this kind of thing's interesting to you, stick around and consider subscribing. Talking Trek Marlin, and that is what we have in front of us here. The Trek Marlin is actually one of the most popular hardtail mountain bikes on sale today in the US, and they range all the way from a Marlin 4, which still works off of that Gen 2 variant of the frame, to this top spec Gen 3. And when I say at the very beginning that this is a beginner's mountain bike, that's not derogatory, and I know this one comes in at a steeper price tag of $12.99. But what I mean by that is it's the entry level frame. So Trek in their lineup of hardtails, they have quite a few different variants, but the more XC versions, which do trail and XC riding with 100 millimeters of front suspension, they come with the Marlin series as the beginning flavor. They go up to their Excalibur, which is a slightly more racy format, and then they go to their Pro Caliber, which is definitely an XC race bike. And now this Marlin spreads the line between being able to be a one bike to do it all, as well as being able to have componentry as well as geometry to make it a solid mountain bike. And Trek has done a lot to make this Gen 3 version much more capable. They've done a few things such as updating the geometry in the front end where this bike now comes with 100 millimeters of front suspension but now it's able to run up to 120 millimeter front fork if you wanted to uh, overshock the bike it also has updated geometry featuring a 66 and a half degree head tube angle a 73.4 degree seat tube angle and a reach and a size medium of 440 millimeters and that actually takes me to some of the sizing which is pretty cool about this bike now this is going to come all the way down to an extra extra small which allows you to be able to run this bike with a 26 inch wheel for those smaller riders younger riders that are aspiring for full trail use that's a cool feature and then it goes up to extra small to small featuring a 27 and a half inch wheel and then medium through double extra large comes with the 29s that we're seeing on this bike and not only that, but the Marlin series also has this in-between size, this medium large, which is effectively an 18 and a half inch frame size, which is a nice addition to be able to fit those riders that want a little extra reach, but don't quite need a size large frame. Now, the other things that they've changed for this bike uh, is they've updated their alpha silver aluminum frame. Of course, we still have down tube and seat tube water bottle mounts. We've got internal cable routing, which makes for a nice clean look. And it does have an integrated dropper seat post routing. Now, this bike being the Marlin 8 means it does come with a dropper post, which is always nice to see. And these dropper posts are going to be sized based on the size of the bike. But even on the lower end versions of this bike, you can still run an internal dropper if you want to. It does also have this threaded bottom bracket. It's got a small drop stay allowing for these big 29 by 2.4 inch tires to clear the frame. Of course, with a rubber cover to be able to both dampen the sound as you go through with the chain slapping. But it also features this kind of neat way of running the internal cable routing. Because internal cable routing is actually coming out underneath the bottom bracket, making the stringing a lot easier. So basically you just run the cables through the down tube, they pop out at the bottom bracket, and then this is encapsulating the cable as it goes back to this rear derailleur. You'll also see that we've got a variant on a quick release combined with a through axle. And what this is called is a through skew. So basically it works like a through axle where you can unscrew the axle and be able to pull it out just like you would a through axle, but this is a standard. And why they might want to do that is it's going to both have the benefits of the lower costs of maintenance as well as replacement, should you ever need to replace these hubs of a standard quick release. 
but you get some of the strength as well as the centering for your disc brake that you get from a through axle. Pretty cool feature, although I know some of you will wish that was a true through axle. So and another small hit to where this bike does dual duty is it does still have a direct mount mount to be able to run a kickstand on the rear as well as the capability of running racks on the back as well. And basically that means the bike will be able to do dual duty of both be a get around bike as well as a true mountain bike with that updated geometry. Now diving into the part specs of this Marlin 8, it being a top level variant of this bike does mean it's coming with some pretty sweet parts for the 1299 MSRP. Here we've got a RockShox Judy Silver which uses their turnkey lockout so this lockout allows you to be able to adjust from all the way lock so that the suspension cannot compress. So if you're going up a hill, a steep fire road climb, things like that, you're going to be real efficient. And then it's because it's hydraulic, can open up all the way to a open position. On the other side, you have a air adjustment and that air adjustment allows you to use a shock pump. And when you take this cap off, you can connect the shock pump to that valve right there and that allows you to adjust the air pressure up and down based on your weight and riding preferences. I should also mention that this bike does have a weight capacity of 300 pounds so if you're a bigger rider that uh, should be a nice addition since most bike brands out there are 250 or 275. Moving on from the fork we'll go to our drivetrain and the drivetrain is going to be a 1 by 12 system from SRAM via their SRAM SX rear derailleur. Now this system runs through an 11 to 50 tooth cassette on a standard Shimano HG Freehub body so you're able to easily replace that and definitely a place that I know some people would like to change up is this XS rear derailleur. It shifts well enough but it does have a tendency to get hung up on some rocks and so upgrading to an NX or a GX it's going to be a simple upgrade in the future because it's compatible with the rest of the drivetrain. Now we do have the SRAM SX front crank set here. This uses a Truvative micro spline bottom bracket and a narrow wide 30 tooth front chain wrench. And in the cockpit here we've got an aluminum Bontrager handlebar. Nice and wide setup. It does made up to the short and stubby blender stem from Bontrager which has mounts to be able to run lights bike computer, cell phone mount, whatever you might want. And then we do have some lock-on Bontrager grips, which means there's a little bolt down here that allows you to clamp it on, so it's not going to rotate on you. Of course, that SX shifter, as well as the dropper post lever, which allows you to raise and lower that seat with ease. But then you slow down your bike via the Shimano hydraulic disc brakes. These are going to be two piston calipers, both on the front and the rear, that are connected to six-bolt rotors on these 29 inch Covey TLR rims. Now, of course, this is gonna be the same rim in the 27.5 or 26 inch variants as well. But this here being a medium large is a 29er with the Maxxis Ardent tire in a 29 by 2.4. This has their EXO protection as well as tubeless ready. And although the bike does come with a tube installed from the factory, you can set this bike up tubeless right out of the box with some sealant and uh, a couple of valves. Well, with all that said, I think it's time we find out what this bike weighs. And the actual weight of the Trek Marlin 8 in a size medium large comes in and weighs 31.74 pounds. Thanks for joining me to check out this brand new Gen 3 variant of the Trek Marlin 8. It's a pretty cool looking bike and definitely a nice way to have one bike to do it all with some real off-road trail riding chops. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. While you're at it, be sure to hit subscribe and definitely browse the channel for other videos like this to check out as well.